Hey everybody! It's been a few days since I've done a video. I'm going to video this and see how it works out. I've been moving my art room around. I have one, two, about two, the two shelves above me and my work desk yet to completely finish. At the end, I'll give a quick tour, but I have a few things like kind of scattered and that I have to arrange and go through, but I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. So um, in the process of, I found a lot of stuff. Um, because when I moved my art room that was upstairs, I separated it to have this be my painting mixed media room, you know, kind of messy room because it's a room that my husband um, took the drop ceiling down and put the ceiling up, uh, drywalled it and all, but we never finished the room. So I thought, why not just use it rather than him finish it? Um, use it for what I'm using it for. And then the room upstairs where I was is my sewing room, my clay room, um, my knitting, um, that type of stuff up there. So having said that, when I brought everything down here eons ago, I just, we just kind of threw everything. Um, my daughter helped, which we, we just threw everything kind of down here in a way. And, uh, so I'm kind of going through things and wanting to arrange things a little bit better for myself. Um, not only for my physical, for physical reasons, but for, um, to be able to do more. So I found this canvas. It's a, um, just a five by seven and I had had it painted, um, a silver, a black, it was originally black. I must've gessoed it and then painted a silver over it. And I don't know why. So then I was sitting here yesterday after I had done some more, um, straightening up and, <laughs> I found these stamps that I had not, that I had won and not used yet. And they are from Unity Stamp, Com Stamp Company, Susan, um, oh, I want to say Weck, Susan, I got the name covered. Susan Weckeser, W-E-C-K-E-S-S-E-R. And I had found them and apparently put them somewhere where I would use them and apparently didn't. And I found them. So I was very excited. So I threw a coat of gesso over the uh, silver black and I went and I um, did some stamps on it, as you can tell, over the white gesso. And they're really cute stamps. You can, you can see like the banner. They're teeny. I mean, they're really teeny stamps. Um, but they're cute. They're adorable. And I would definitely use them in mixed media. Um, in my mixed media, little flowers, little bird, little house, you know, so you kind of get this little thing. I like this little flower, you know, but ultimately I'm not really going to, um, do much with this. So I thought, well, let me just play around today since I'm really not going to do much straightening up today. Um, just don't feel like it. I've been doing it for days and I really need to like come down here early enough and uh, get to get to getting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off because this is black ink. This I used stays on or, or something. Um, so it wouldn't smear. So I'm just going to throw my, uh, take my, I'm using whatever brush I have in my water, excuse my arm. And I'm just going to paint over it. I'm, that this is just the golden liquid, golden fluid, acrylic, carbon black. And my brush does have a little bit of water on it, but so it's making it a little bit thinner, but I don't care. I'm just playing. See what I can come up with off the cuff. But that covers really well. I, I do have golden um, fluid acrylics. I buy the, um, which I have tons of, I'm going to be using... Uh, a lot of the craft paints, but um, certain colors I buy in the big thing. I only use a coupon because they're quite expensive. Um, but I buy this like I buy, buy the golden liquid um, acrylic in um, in black and white and certain colors that I really like. Um, I'm out of a lot of them now, and I really need to go through my paints to see. Um, but I love them; they're great. Um, I love Liquitex and I love, uh, I have a lot of the, um, heavy body Liquitex. You can see I need more of this. This is the iridescent bright gold, but, um, you know, but I love the basics, the Liquitex basics, which are always on sale, very inexpensive. And I love folk art or ceramic coat or, you know, whatever they have, whatever 
colors they have, you know, whatever brands they have on sale that week. Uh, they all have store brands now. So I'm just going to dry this really quick. You know, but there's no necessity to have to have, you know, golden uh, fluid acrylics. I've had them for ages. I don't use them often unless I'm painting to sell. Because I like to have my paintings have the better, you know, the better, better quality paint on them. But I also mix you know, my, my folk art and all that kind of stuff with them, so it doesn't really, you know, I just like paint. I don't care what it is. I'm just going to give this another second. Now all I'm going to do is give it a second to cool off. This is my gesso I was looking for you. And then I'm just going to take my towel, the same towel I just used, and this is just to soak up whatever didn't. As you can tell, I did not clean my desk yet as everything's falling. Whatever black didn't dry yet. So I can just start. I'm just dabbing it. It doesn't matter as long as the basic of the basis of the. Uh, and of course, I'm on my craft mat, so that stays wet, as you know. I must have black under here somewhere. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that on there for a second. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my gesso, just regular gesso. I will shake it. It's just Liquitex gesso I use with a coupon also. And if you're lucky, you can open it. There we go. I'm just put a little bit down. A couple little piles. Put that back there for now. Let's see if we can, yeah. And now I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I'm going to do like, I saw this cool picture. Boy, it's really kind of glary. Let me find a paintbrush to use. Let's do. I always do light and then dark. So I'm going to take a little bit of light blue, just the basics. I'm going to put a little bit, just a little squirt right there. Move that over here. And then I'm going to take, this is cobalt blue. This is just a small golden. I have a lot more of these in different in the colors because they're a lot cheaper. I'm going to use them use a coupon with it. Yeah, I'm going to shake it up real good. I'm going to do a little bit of blue here. You could tell the difference on how much thicker that is than the and they're they're beautiful. Now. All right, I'm making stupid noises, I know. I'm going to put a little bit of gesso on my brush and mix it with a little bit of my blue paint. My dogs are going nuts upstairs playing. tip on there. Alright, so let me say if I do a face here, I'll take the hair. 
I'm just going to kind of make crazy kind of And I'm not really worried about the definition of it, if that makes sense. Because I'm going to have to go over. I don't want that to be, see how I have my corner here? I don't want that to be my corner. I want my middle to be here. So I really should have probably kind of did that. So we'll just kind of, since it's wet, <laughs> I got a little gesso in it so it'll stay a little bit. And you can use a smaller brush you don't have to use. And my advice to you at this point, let me bring it up so I can do. Um, let me grab, uh, let's see. There we go. I just have a piece of paper, plain piece of paper. And all I'm going to do is take my paintbrush because I don't want to waste it, but I'm going to, I'll use this as a background. See how I'm just, it's just a piece of uh, cardstock and I'm just going to kind of clean my brush off a little bit on it because I don't want to put it in the water again. And I'll just leave it sit there. That'll be my, my paint brush and I'm going to just set that down. That'll be my uh, scratch off type thing. I'm going to take a little brush like that. I'm gonna dip it in the water and then dry it off. Give it somewhat of a point. And then I'm gonna go into my darker blue, kind of give it a little bit of a point. And I'm gonna go into a little bit of my gesso here and kind of mix it. As you can see, I'm gonna do some more. To me, when you do this kind of, especially on a darker background, it makes the colors pop more when you add a little bit of the gesso. Or you could use white, it just makes it. That's just my theory, my feeling. And you always want more color than you want gesso, but it just adds, because you're adding to such a dark surface, you want it to really pop. And you'll be going over it again, so. If you're, for, you know, at first, you know, this is just your base kit color, so uh, it's not that as big a deal, really. So let's go on the outsides. Let's see, it's a much lighter blue. It's okay. Because when we go back, we're not going to put the gesso. It's just so it kind of lays that base down. Good God. Who knows what I'm making? I have in my head what I'm making. But as we all know, <laughs> it never works out that way. I just keep kind of going and leaving some of that black. And remember where your middle is so you can kind of meet them all there in a sense. Now you might like the way you know, you might not want to go in with the darker um, color. This is all up to you. I'm just sitting here playing. And I thought, oh, I'm going to video it. And if it works out good, then hey, yay for me. And if it doesn't, then, you know, I didn't lose anything because I just, I'm using a canvas that I uh, recycled. And there's been a lot of questions about recycling canvases. And I do it all the time, especially when I'm just playing around like this and I want to experiment maybe something that I want to do um, as far as a painting on a regular canvas. And I have a lot of canvases sitting around that, you know, when I first started out, that I could really go over. Now here you could is a decision where you can make, yeah, you can make another line there. Now what I'm gonna do? Take my brush off, dry it off. 
I'm just going to take some of the gesso over here that's a clean pile. And I want to kind of just make these curls. And go over here and do the same thing. Almost like dreadlocky kind of. And then mix a little bit of the white, make that blue a little bit lighter that we just used to give it a tinge. And kind of run in between. Who the heck knows what I'm doing? I just love painting. I always get things in my head and then I'm like, oh, let's try that. Just take a little bit more of the white. Because you want these to kind of curve up too. So they look like little curls in a sense. <laughs> but right now, I don't want to make a mush and mush. So I'm going to stop and dry this and then I'll be on video number you know I'll do a video number two so we're not so long in one video so so far this is what we got going it doesn't look like much yet um we shall see so I'll see you on video two thanks guys